Welcome back to Lake Tahoe TV Style Today. Real treat for me from Barton. I have Dr. Dan Norman, gastroenterologist, and then also Barton GI nurse Susan Fraley joining us. And also kind of a small town, you are the father of a uh, old RSN employee here, Brooke Norman. So yes. good to have you back here in the studio. And we're talking about a very important thing. Uh, uh, colon cancer, obviously a, a big killer here in the United States. Uh, so how prevalent is uh, colorectal cancer in the U.S., I think, starting off? Well, the, the estimates of last year were about 143,000 new diagnoses. And that's just new. That's new. not existing. That's just new. And about 53,000 people died from that, from that illness. Man. And so I, I think the most important part is the, the prevention of uh, colon cancer, which is colonoscopies and, and uh, stuff like that. So uh, who should get a colonoscopy? I think the first and most important thing out there, because I know a lot of people don't know. I mean, do I need to get one? Well, that, that it is an important subject. Uh, colonoscopies should be done routinely on people over the age of 50 years and younger if they have certain risk fa factors, family history, unexplained abdominal pain, rectal bleeding, any symptom that might be an alarm system for a lower gastrointestinal tract cancer. But the standard is age 50 years for the average population. Now, you and I were talking during the break, uh, and I, I was actually getting an MRI the other day, and, and someone needed to take this liquid in order to get imaging done, and, and they couldn't do it because it, it, it was just, it made them sick. It didn't taste good. And so you guys have this new preparation procedure for patients who can't tolerate that liquid, and uh, the, there's a new preparation for them to be able to, to get the imaging done. Is that... Well, it's not for just those that uh, can't tolerate it. Uh, most of our preparations involve a large volume of a material that you have to drink the evening before. Um, we had a smaller bowel preparation, small volume, where you drank a lot of fluids after. Unfortunately, it had to be taken off the market. So we're left with these large preparations, and we were finding that individuals were not able to show up for their colonoscopy because they didn't tolerate the prep at night, they had a lot of stomach upset, vomiting, couldn't keep it all down, and the preps weren't adequate. And so with uh, Susan's encouragement, uh, an alternative to using that standard large volume, stay up all night, be uncomfortable prep, has been installed in Barton. Susan, tell us about that. Yeah, well, uh, colon hydrotherapy is our new alternative prep that we're using. And what that consists of is you come in um, uh, an hour before your procedure and you come in for the colon hydrotherapy. It's a gentle cleansing of the large intestine and it takes about 45 minutes and people usually feel really good afterwards. You still do have to do a small prep the night before and some clear liquids because we really want a good visual. You have to be clear. And it's a gentle procedure. And, um, and a groundbreaking one. I mean, uh, I'm looking here, second hospital in the U.S. To have this correct. procedure here, uh -huh. and, yes. and to be able to have it at Barton Hospital here in, in such a small community, I think uh, people don't really understand how lucky we are to have you know the resources that we do with the doctors that we do here. Thank you. And so, I, I think we got it. Yes. Have you had good yeah. results with this yet? Yeah, we installed it in March. There's one hospital in Danbury, Connecticut, that does 40 to 70 procedures a, a day and about 10% of their procedures are done using this. Uh, in those intolerant people or the elderly people that have a difficult time getting back and forth to the bathroom in a prep situation, we've uh, done this since March um, and have had excellent success, excellent. The preparations, uh, a study was performed that showed that the preparation uh, is better in all segments of the colon than our standard preps as far as cleanliness and it's also been demonstrated to be better tolerated by the patients than prep, other preps that they've had in prior colonoscopy. So you can just detect one cancer and save one person, one. it's worth it, you know. It is. Yes, in, in it the is. End. Dr. Dan Norman, Susan Fraley, nurse, uh, also a gastroenterologist. The people have more questions. I know a lot of questions are, are, are really created through interviews like this. They want them answered. Uh, how can they get more information? You can call our Barton uh, Gastroenterology Lab, which is at area code 530-543. 5985 is the GI office, or 543-5960 is the lab itself, and we'll be happy to talk to you about it. Tell Brooke we said hello, Dr. Dan Norman, sure. Susan Thanks. Fairley, bartonhealth.org for you. all the information about Barton Hospital. We'll be right back with more of Lake Tahoe TV's Tahoe Today. Thank you.